Hello, children. All right, hopefully, with any luck, this rounds out the workout series. I had a series of unfortunate events trying to make, this is speed day. Damn. <sighs> And uh, with, it, with this video, I should have at least one video of every workout in the East First West Preparation Series. Now, the, uh, I actually tried filming this two days ago and got to the end. I was doing good. I was lifting more weight than I expected. So I was feeling good because it was Monday. Monday night seemed to be one of my stronger evening so I go all right I felt like adding weight added weight and uh oh, I was just about wrapping it up we were just about to get to the closing credits and I have an alarm set off I have an alarm set that goes off at about the same time every day to remind me to call my family <laughs> so it's it just says call, and then I figure out who, who I haven't called in a while. And it went off while I was filming. <clears throat> well, I just kept going like nothing was happening, because uh, I thought maybe the camera was still going, the, the, it was still recording, I just couldn't see it. So by the time I closed the, uh, stopped the alarm, closed it, and got back to the video, I thought I had the whole video. Um, uploaded it and then it's like the last four minutes were cut off so that was um that was this exercise so it was monday night tuesday morning i made the, the max effort video that we just uh um uploaded the last video i just watched that you just watched and uh, failed. They did a, because you're not, you're supposed to put speed day and max day as far apart as possible. I put speed day in the evening, max day in the morning. Don't do that. Um, so then I, uh, so I was feeling kind of sore. So that was Tuesday morning. Tuesday evening, went to practice with the Wellington boys. DJ Fenton showed up, beat the daylights out of my right arm, opened me up a couple of times. <sighs> so this morning, it was after a hard practice, heavy volume day, the same exercise again, running 90% of uh, my one rep max, 80%, not 90, 80% of my one rep max, and didn't get much. Did a few singles, a couple of uh, singles on the left. I did one triple and a few singles on the right. All right, we're getting up to 40 pounds, which is a work set. Um, um, it's feeling kind of sore because I've been doing this same exercise brutally all week. So we're gonna put on the fire grease. Get these elbows warmed up a little bit. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good tonight. So we'll try to film this and hopefully if all goes okay, we will uh, conclude this. <coughs> then we'll go on to making some of the more goofy, whimsical videos I like. This is still a warm up set for the right. It's a working set for the left. So we'll finish up the warm up set here. Oh, one more after that. Okay. So this is not a video about how to do speed day, it's just a video of what I'm doing on speed day. But we will do some brief recaps. We're running about 
50, 55% dead weight, about another 13% on the band. So all in, I'm in the 55 to 65% range of my one rep max, all in. Dead stop. And on the reps, on volume days, you stop. Speed day is dead stop, no stop. All right, you t-shirt makers out there. I want an Uncle Todd, Uncle Todd t-shirt. Dead stop, no stop. Okay, Felt those numbers are for the right. The left's, the left's not pulling its weight. We're gonna have to, we might have to uh, check the immigration status on the left because it's not paying its fair share. But 40 pounds is working weight for the left and 60 pounds is working weight for the right. Isometric days, they let you work at near maximum weight, you don't get sore. Speed day, you work in the 60 to 70% range, arm wrestling, our uh, power lifters are doing way more, and they can make you sore. But they put, they build confidence in your elbows, which is nice. It's not as nice as wearing a free t-shirt, but it is nice. All right, this is a warm-up set for the right, so we're gonna take the Dead stop off. Hardcore Eastern, hardcore Japanese arm wrestlers would warm up with a dead stop. We're worried about Uncle Todd's best by date. I never raised the weight on that last set. <laughs> That was supposed to be 40 pounds, it was 30. No wonder it looks so good. <sighs> Uncle Todd, Uncle Todd. I'm gonna have to get you one of those monkeys that think and do stuff for you, or one of those smart dogs. <sighs> Ooh, 60 pounds is gonna be hard. On the right. Got 50 pounds of hard. We might do some sets at 50. And then, when you're fully warmed up, hit the working weight. Okay, now it's a working set. 40 pounds. I didn't write nothing down, so. What happens tomorrow? Sweetie's coming to visit. Sweetie's coming to visit. We are flying to Canada this weekend to do that tournament and a seminar. All right. Working weight, left hand. No stop, dead stop. Harder than Monday. <laughs> it's just the same. But I got a long weekend because I won't train Thursday night, won't train Friday, Saturday, won't train. I'll be hanging out with our wrestlers, won't train Saturday. Sunday's a seminar. So there's Pulling is part of the seminar, of course, but there's no, there's none of that fully caffeinated, you know, creatine-fueled madness that a competition is where, you know, you gain, you try to gain as much water weight as you can. All right, 
First 14 set at 50 pounds. The warm up set at 50 pounds. It was hard. Do, 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 do. You're a fine girl. Six sets of six at 66%. Ah, that's a nice alliteration. completely off camera. I was just saw was dink, 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 dink. <sighs> no Steven Spielberg. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> At least four. Maybe five. I'm right down four, because that first one didn't get that satisfying snappy on the chain. It was snappy, it was crappy. You guys know this. You're doing like more than five or sets of something. Your fourth and fifth set are usually some of the easier ones. The last two sets always seem hard. To me, the first two sets are always hard. And the last two or three sets are hard, which equals five. So maybe that's not just me. The uh, camera seems to be wiggling or moving. <sighs> Just checking the camera frame in here. <sighs> I think I'm getting completely off the camera, aren't I? We'll try to crop that. I can't see. of the biscuit. So we will do, you don't need to see the whole left side of the table. So we'll frame it this way. Put the chains there. That makes more sense. Listen, children, before you start getting snippy with Uncle Todd in the comments, realize I make dozens of dollars a month on this channel. So, I make sure the videos are worth every penny of it. That should be better. People are going to watch the first couple of videos and tune the first couple of sets and tune out. They're going to go, what the? Ooh, this is set three. It should start getting easier. According to that myth I heard a few minutes ago. I looked at the camera to check it and I 
do not know what Susie sees in that man. I'm gonna write down six. Because it's the third set, it's the easy one. It's like the beer frame in bowling. <sighs> Move that over there. <sighs> You're getting the special effects because the camera's sitting half on the pedestal. All right, we'll film this here. <sighs> what a good life you would be. Uh. All right. I'm feeling <clears throat> to the left. Cotton candy, sweetie, go. Let me see that tootsie. I think we're going to do one more set with 50, then we're going to try 60, and then we're going to uh, pay for our, uh, our impetuousness the rest of the night. Ah, ah. Get the whole sexy wooden frame in there. 50. Simmons would not approve it, how slow they are, but Louis Simmons does improve, does approve of experimentation and adaption, and you can go your own way, go your own way. The left is going to stay at 40 because... Because there's no time now, my arm of glass. Oh, watch me now. My arm is glass. Oh, uh, it's funny because I, I train the right in the arm the same level as hard as they can go you know but the right arm takes off over the left arm and my theory is it's just because most of my practice partners are right-handed so the right just naturally gets worked harder than the left so it gets stronger but I don't want to work the left harder so it catches up and make my body my central nervous system tire I don't want to slack off on the right so my left catches up because nobody cares about the left. All right, let's see if we can get, I don't know. I don't know if we can get six. I'm gonna try six. Sometimes five. They're slowing down as I get tired. But I've only got two more. All right, 60. What do you think? We are 18, we got two months of September. No, yeah, two weeks, two months. It's two weeks of September, four of October, so six weeks out. Six weeks out from my competition is a pretty good time to be like really pushing the weight, really hit it hard. Then hopefully you get some, you get used to it and adapt to it. The next couple of weeks before, that last week or so where you get all those phantom pains and hypochondriacs like myself, think we developed 15 fatal diseases leading up to a competition because we're nervous. All right, well we did, we hit all six at 50 for three sets, so. Set number four, 60 pounds. <sighs> do, 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 60 pounds plus the band on about a 112, 113 pound PR. So my max on this is about 113, 112, 113. <clears throat> 
Boy, when that sweat starts coming, that fire grease warms up. Hours there, just the endurances, and that's probably because I've been working too hard this week for the amount of sleep I'm getting. But I have been eating more. You're a fine girl. Whew. Man. <clears throat> I love road trips. Airport beer and egg McMuffin sandwiches. Man. Back. I feel like a rock star. <sighs> 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. <sighs> Set number five. Whoo! <laughs> rattle, 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 rattle. Got to introduce to somebody at work. We're shaking hands. My arm rattles like a spray can. Bang to bang to bang to me. What a good life you will be. Side stepping up. I think I got all six there. Yep, that's five sets. The farmer's walking's coming up too. That's getting easier. try to go up and wait until I did all six. Once I've done six sets of six for three or four weeks, then I'll add weight. I don't want to push it up too fast. But I am constantly trying to push it up. Our wrestlers respond very well to very heavy weights. Strength was there, but 
It just got a little out of position, then everything just dis disappeared. It's like arm wrestling rooster. He just moves you that little bit, and you might just as well order a sandwich, because you're not doing anything else that evening. All right, last set. I really want to hit this one. Oh, I haven't hit one of these yet. I hit two sets of five so far on this. Last night, no Monday when I when I did. Oh, ha! Huh, that's exactly what I did the other day. I got three sets of six, a set of six, and two sets of five. Two sets of oh, so I'm I'm down one rep from Monday. Oh, I guess I'm not so bad. I feel worse. If I can do six on this, I've only dropped a rep. If I do five, I drop two reps. We might have to reconsider two speed days a week. face. That, that was killer. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, kids. Now we're just going to do wrist stuff. Let's drop it to 40. Let's move the camera. Rock the camera. Camera sound. Chili don't like it. Rock the camera. Rock the camera. Oh, whoops. Boop. It'd be easier if I had like a professional. Where do I stand? I stand here. I had. Check out this professional camera work. You folks are just. You're amazing. Uncle, we appreciate all you do for us with this Netflix-level entertainment. <sighs> We're just going to do wrist and reverse stuff. This is one I filmed on the other day. Uh, there's just 30 pounds on the... Oh, my right is hurting. There's just 30 pounds on the, uh, on the weight stack. No chain, no band. Just plain old boring, 30 pounds. We just round out the wrist and the arm. So it's just a couple of, a short set and then a tall set. It's not too exciting. This is where they would start showing you previews in the next video or coming attractions or, man, 10, 20, 30, it says 40. I know I think I said 40. I'm changing my mind. We're going to 40. <sighs> 40 is just a little too close to being an overachiever. Oh, 30 is too easy. I should have stayed at 40. Two. Three. 
that one will do is we'll do a set of 30 for both, then we'll do a set of 40 for the killer set. Now 40 just seemed too heavy, but I probably should have tried to set it with one hand. You know, my arm's all tired. We're just doing the wrist motion of this now. <clears throat> Slippery. Mm. All right, I'll set a ten. Let's go to forty. That one's all she's gonna write today, boys. Now we just do the reverse motion. We're gonna do 30 pounds. This is kind of helpful. Not too many people like doing them. I think they're valuable. Go to Core Sports, get your pay per view. Come watch me walk on Yoshinobu Kanai to the East First West. Oh, wow. Short set first, that was. Glad we weren't doing crazy weight. Whew! Sing the sailor story. Call your mama. You know, just go ahead and send your mama some flowers. She'd like that. Or uh, send somebody in your family a little card, just a thinking of you card. That kind of stuff cracks people up. They put a five dollar bill in it, even if they're like a grown up, <laughs> even if it's your parents. Send your parents five dollars in the card. Just tell them September 20th, or say 18th. September 18th when they come once a year. You thought you'd celebrate. You're starting a new thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Sen. Sing a sailor's story. Oh my gosh, that hurts. That's it, children. Thanks. I'm out of here. Love you guys.